actually, yung drug war natin, uh, yung uh, campaign against illegal drugs, matagal na po yan. Mula pa nung hindi pa nabubuo yung uh, uh, PIDEA, nag, nakikilahak na, na kami sa anti-illegal drugs campaign. Nung uh, naging presidente na si Duterte, prioritize namin yung drug war. Pag daog ni President Duterte na nagsugod ng tukhang ka ng mga nag-drugs daw, or nahadlock na ko, nisurinder ko sa baybay, gumigan sa mong kapitan, nga iya kong gi... gi... gi to, nga surrender na lang sa polis. Monotos siya. Pagkabati ko ito nga, yung sa iba pa surrender, mag-surrender ako para daw ko naman nagbago. Kung nga hindi na gumamit ng droga. Pagkatapos pag-surrender namun, pagpaglimpyo lang kami nyo sa nga creek. Masa lakad lang sa amo, ito rin namin na sumunod. As, as of today, we have 42,616 surrenderers all throughout the region. We have a total of 861 arrested drug personalities and 900 total number of operations region-wide since July 1, 2016. Uh, and the common problems na na-encounter po natin ay kung uh, anong gagawin sa mga surrenderers nito. On the DOH side, We do screening of drug surrenderers. So this, uh, this is done at the LGU level, uh, local level. And the result of this, um, they are categorized into low, medium, and severe. So the moderate and severe are then reassessed by our staff from the Treatment and Rehab Center. So, uh, after being assessed, they are again categorized to mild, moderate, and severe. The mild, they are referred back for community-based rehab. But for the moderate, uh, we assist the LGU in health facility-based outpatient and treatment rehab. Then, of course, the severe ones are the ones referred to our inpatient treatment and rehab at Dulag TRC. So, aside from this, of course, we do orientation, trainings, conduct meetings, consultative meetings, and planning with the LGUs to assist them. Just like the other TRC or Treatment and Rehabilitation Centers under the Department of Health, we offer residential care. Who are qualified to be admitted to this center? Those who have been classified as severe or at high risk. What do we mean by high risk? means that if they continue the, the same pattern of drug use, if they remain in the community and they continue the same pattern of drug use, they are at high risk of developing um, medical, psychological, legal, and other problems related to the drug use. We have had trainings offered for doctors and nurses um, Included in that in, th in that training was how to to assess and manage uh, drug use disorders and alcoholism, and so they are actually equipped with the knowledge and including the skills are there for them to be able to assess and and treat and manage these cases. For the DILG convergence. And DILG is in charge of, of what we call Pillar 2, which is community-based drug treatment and rehabilitation. Um, this is a structured, structured uh, program also, where those who are classified as mild substance use disorder, they can undergo the community-based. Uh, treatment and rehabilitation and this is done in the community and so therefore with the proper LGU support this can be done. The 
total surrender is for City of Baybay was 2,252, and we were able to assess 545, uh, low, moderate to high, and uh, 98 were high. Of course, some of the one, some of the high risks were we were trying to refer to TRC Dulag, but the family consideration lahat na economic yung financial ng family kung six months silang wala doon yun ang problema actually it all started last August 12 2016 after the meeting at the uh, regional office for the implementation of NADPA uh, after that we presented the program, the plan because it was emphasized during the meeting uh, the Regional TRC, uh, Treatment and Rehabilitation Center, cannot cope up with the uh, expected no, uh, drug abuse. So, the cities in the region were called. And then right there after, we presented to the mayor and she was very supportive. So, uh, after the presentation, we started right away with the assessment in the barangay while looking into uh, recruiting our personnel. So while the personnel were sent to uh, TRC, Dolan, we conducted our own uh, initial assessment. After they were trained, that's the time we go on full blast assessment. So, yun na. Tako kayo yung tabang para sa kuwang daytime gay sa pagsunod ko dire na na ang respeto na 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 ang pagampo sa Ginoo gay sa katung mga panahon sa una wala to eh di sa dire na atanan nga ang imo hang sayop yan lang gid imo ginangod on di mo tong sa ako panlawas nga di libre man laging kaon dire libre snack Di, pero di lang mo yung akong giapas na siya. Ang akong giapas giyod nga magbag-ugi ko. Kay Andere, kay Andere sa daytime, ang ilang tuyo sa mua, magbag-uman. Pag nag-surrender na, hindi natin tinitigilan yan. Minomonitor pa rin sila uh, kung bumabalik ba sila sa illegal drug na trabaho nila, yung ginagawa nila noon. Once mag bumalik sila sa dating gawi, sinasama na namin sila sa low bar... Uh, low value target or high value target, uh, they will be subject to police operations. May mga instances din tayo na nag-surrender na pero bumabalik sa illegal drug na trabaho nila, yung ginagawa nila noon. Pagkatapos sa tunang panlimpyo, waray na may nahinabo, tambay na. Nga daya na, kaya waray naman na raw <coughs> otro ang mag ano. Daray naman Dahil naman maglinorong, balik bisyo, hinihingyap nga, mapadayo na ito na hirag yung buha tapon. Kung nunay mo ang barangay amon, dahil lakmaram mo kung ano't mahinabuha amon. Ako nila, gusto ko lang bago. And so there is a need really for him to undergo a treatment and rehabilitation program. So this particular behavior and therefore his relapse, when we say relapse, is a tendency for a drug addict or a drug dependent to go back to using drugs. And this can be, this can be answered when that patient undergoes a treatment and rehabilitation program. The main role of the PNP in this war against illegal drugs is to neutralize drug personalities. Yun lang talaga ang trabaho namin, supposedly. Uh, I would like to request the uh, local chief executives na kung ano lang muna ang uh, may tutulong nila sa local police nila kay ang mga police ay hindi naman pinapabayaan supposedly yung mga surrenders na yan kasi pag wala silang ginagawa sigurado ako babalik yan So I know some of the LGUs are hesitant to do something with the drug surrenders they just need to initiate to initiate something um, and we will just come in 
to guide them. Kahit anong initiative, gawin nyo na para sa mga drug surrenderers. We need to convince everyone. We need to look at drug addiction from the same perspective. It's a brain disease. When it's treatable, it's preventable. They do recover, they do recover, but it's a long process. The journey to recovery for every drug dependent is a long and difficult journey. They have several relapses that is expected. But because they do have those relapses, it does not mean that we give up on them. We do not give up on them. Everyone is, deserves to be helped. Everyone deserves to be given one chance, two chances, three chances, several chances to recover because they will recover. They cannot do it alone. We need, we need to help them. Sa akong experience din sa daytime, di, sa bilang akong uh, usaka wala sa mga pag-drugs, kaya nagigumam na mo na gini ako ang ikaduwang ginabuhi sa akong pagbago. So once again, we would like to call the local government units, the local chief executives to coordinate and collaborate with all the national agencies in our fight against drug abuse. Tugunan natin ang problema sa droga ngayon na!